everyone. Welcome to All This Science with McKenna and Maya. Today, as guest podcasters for Dr. Carol, we will be explaining the chemistry behind Himalayan salt lamps and what health benefits they can provide you, aside from solely being a trendy decoration in your home. A Himalayan salt lamp is a light fixture created from a slab of salt imported from Pakistan that has been hollowed out in the center to fit a light bulb. The lamp has a warm coral glow that is both ambient and relaxing. Color therapy practices refer to pink and orange as having soothing properties and promoting happiness. As a general disclaimer for this podcast, color therapy, along with the whole idea of salt lamps in general, is an area of science that comes with a lot of skepticism. Like most forms of holistic treatments, such as acupuncture, or in this case, salt lamps, their healing benefits are not without dispute. However, like all forms of medicine, coping mechanisms, or anything in general regarding mental health, success is particular to the individual and comes as a case-by-case basis. Not everyone experiences holistic treatments in the same way, which means their benefits might not be universal. But really, there are not many things in this life that help every single person without fail. Aside from the color therapy thing, salt lamps are said to purify the air and help neutralize electromagnetic radiation. So are these claims real? Well, salt is hygroscopic, so it attracts and absorbs water molecules from the air. This means the lamps help trap dirt, pollen, and smoke particles, which are carried in water vapor. A Himalayan salt inhaler is basically a regular inhaler, but instead of pharmaceuticals, there's Himalayan salt inside. The fact that Himalayan salt inhalers exist and that they seem to have tremendous beneficial effects on asthma, bronchitis, and other respiratory ailments rule in favor of the salt. The lamps are said to filter microscopic mold, mildew, dust, and pet dander particles from indoor air. People swear that adding one or two lamps to their room helped alleviate allergy symptoms tremendously. Even asthma sufferers claim to benefit from these lamps and inhalers. As for neutralizing electromagnetic radiation, it's better to be safe than sorry. In an average home, there are all kinds of electromagnetic waves in the atmosphere from various electronic devices, such as wireless routers, smartphones, computers, televisions, kitchen appliances, and etc. Much of this technology has only recently become commonplace, and therefore there is no tangible evidence of how this prolonged exposure will affect long-term human health. What is known is how this type of constant radiation exposure can cause chronic fatigue, increase stress levels, and decrease the body's immune response. A reaction between H2O and sodium chloride produces a negatively charged ion, which can help neutralize the electromagnetic radiation in the room, since the Himalayan salt emits negative ions when constantly attracting and reacting to water vapor. This neutralizes the positive ions from the electromagnetic radiation. If you're looking for a Himalayan salt lamp for your home, here's what to look for in order to get the one with the best benefits. Lamps should specify that they are 100% Himalayan salt. The bigger the salt lamp, the bigger the effect. The smaller ones are less expensive, so it's easier to buy a few small ones for one room. You also want a salt lamp with a rough surface. A rough salt lamp has a greater surface area compared to a smooth one, which determines its hygroscopic potential. Lastly, you want a light bulb that produces heat as opposed to LED light. The hygroscopic effect can only occur if there is heat added to the salt. We've been Maya and McKenna at All This Science, and thanks so much for listening.